Hi Taurus, this is Born with a Veil. How are you? I just got home from work, so I said let me make my babies a video. Okay, so I pre-shuffled, okay, because you know Taurus, I always pick more cards for you, at least I try to, because I'm a Taurus. If you want a reading, it's 313-401-3707. Uh, an hour is 120, and I'm well worth it. Uh, 30 minutes is 50. 10 card is 35. 5 card is 25. 2 cards is 10. So the, the 2 cards for 10, you will get a text of what the what I feel psychically or my cards. I, I mix them together. Um, the rest of the uh, readings you can have by phone. I call you. Um, as soon as you call me, I have the number. Um, or you can have a video. But some people prefer over the phone. My phone is really good. Uh, my phone readings, okay? So we're going to start off with these cards here. I am spiritually protected. Taurus. Oh, this is for September 2020. You are spiritually protected. Can't nobody hurt you. See, if they try to do spells on you, the shit's going to go back on them. Okay? I am free. You are free. You're free from a relationship that gave you a bunch of bullshit. I am passionate. I am very passionate about what I want in life. I'm a very passionate person. I am successful. I hate when they... Okay, the card was, I am successful. Okay? Since that one fell, I'm going to do another one for you. So you're very successful, Taurus, in your job, whatever you're doing. Self-employed, whatever. Or you're just successful, period. You're the shit, Taurus. Aren't we the shit? Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. Taurus, 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 Taurus. Okay, well, two came up. I am happy. So you are happy now that you're not in that bullshit and ass relationship. You got three, really. I am focused on my goals. You are more focused than anything right now. Your money, honey, your money. You're focused on what you want to do. Going to college, going to school, whatever, whatever that it is that you're doing. I am wise. You are wiser now. You are much wiser because you know the shit that you were doing through or going through was wrong. Okay? So, abundance. You've done the work. Abundance flows to you right now. Taurus, you are making that money. You are doing very well. Even if you're getting unemployment, hell, you're getting more money in unemployment than you are working, some of you. So, your abundance is flowing. Rejection. This rejection is actually divine protection. So the universe did not want you to be with this person that you left. The universe, do you hear what I'm saying? The universe rejected this. That's why you ghosted them. Because the universe does not want you to be with that person. Denial. Detach with love to clearly see the truth. You could still love this person. You could still love this person, but you had to detach because you could not grow. Your doors would not open until you let this person go. Do you feel bad? Of course. Go slow. Take time to get to know each other. So you've met someone or you're seeing an ex and you guys are getting to know each other all over again. Obstacles. Unhealed wounds are, block, are blocking forward movement. You got to let the wounds go from this relationship that you just left. You can't keep thinking about, oh my God, if I would have did this, would the relationship would have been better? If I would have did that, would the relationship be better? No, baby, it wouldn't because the universe didn't want it to be, okay? And they probably think you're the most shittiest person in the world. No, it's not that. They fucked up, Okay? Regret. Someone feels remorse for the way they treated you. You're damn right. You damn skippy. You damn right they feel bad for the way that they treated you deep down inside because they know that they were bullshitting. They were talking to other people. They were fucking around. And if they weren't fucking around, they were talking to other people. Okay? You know it and I know it. Stability. This relationship can't stand the test of time. You are more stable than ever. You're more stable now that you're not with them. And and like it says, the relationship can stand the test of time. Honey, this relationship can stand any test of time. Okay? Because it wasn't meant for you. Different pages. You and this person don't share the same vision. You don't. You don't share the same vision. Because 
Both of you think different. Um, especially the person that you just left. They still talking to other people that they shouldn't be talking to. You know, they're a player. Um, and no, you were on different paths. They didn't want the same thing as you did. Okay? Unavailable. This person is unavailable to give you all you deserve. They couldn't give you what you wanted, Taurus. They could never give you what you need, what you desire, what you want. They can't do it. They cannot do it. Spiritual lesson. This person is in your life to teach you a lesson. They were in your life to teach you a lesson not to do that shit again. No, Taurus, no. Acceptance. Everything happens for a reason. Everything happens for a reason, Taurus, because they were not in alignment with you. The universe did not want you with them. Chemistry. This attraction you feel is mutual. Here and now, your true love is already part of your life. Somebody found an ex that they went back to. Or you, gotta, you have a new person. That new person is there or you talk to an ex. And don't say you're not because you are. Interference. An external party is intruding on this relationship. So the person that you just left wants to fuck with you. Wants to intrude on your new relationship. Or when you get one, they're going to want to intrude. But they want to they wanna fuck you around. You're God's child. If they do anything to you, karma is a bitch. Okay? In me and my readings, I speak the truth. Warning, do not, don't dismiss the red flags. There was a lot of red flags with this person, Taurus. I mean, so many damn red flags. I can't even count the bastards, okay? A lot of red flags with this person. Longing, someone is secretly yearning for you. Who's still yearning for you? The person that you just ghosted or they ghosted you? Somebody's yearning for you. An ex is yearning for you. Someone that's watching you in the distance could be on social media. Somebody's yearning for you, Taurus. Could be in your sun, moon, or rising. Passion, try something you've never done before. So try something you've never done before. Sexually, romantically, passionately, life itself. Try something that you haven't done before, okay? Time apart. Some distance will help bring clarity. So, since you're not with this person anymore, it's going to bring clarity. It's going to bring clarity to both of you. Why the fuck were you together in the first place? Okay? Ding, ding, ding. Taurus. Okay. Okay. See, when you're with the wrong person, it's a waste of time. Um, there's a difference between being married and being boyfriend and girlfriend. People don't understand that. So, Taurus, I'm going to do one more card or whatever falls out. Okay, we'll do this one. Strictly sexual. This connection, passionate, but not enduring. So, maybe this person was just for sex. But I think it was more than that. I think you really did care. Um, but I think some of you were just in it strictly for sex. Just to get off, you know. But then some of you were really in for it. For the love that you had for them. Um, you cared for them. You adored them. But you knew they were full of shit. That they were lying. Okay? Um, all I can tell you is, Taurus, move on. Get them out of your head. Because it's not going to go anywhere. Um, there's something bigger and better for you if you've met this person already. Um, you just need to move, move forward. If you're friends with somebody, Taurus, um, try to get that connection going. Okay? Try to get that connection going, Taurus. Okay? So this is Born With A Veil. I love you, Tauruses. And good luck.